Nah, uh, check. Yeah, I'm back on my R&B shit Shout out to the people thinking that I wouldn't be shit Keep it up, it's exactly what I need to feed it off it Had a vision last night, but you probably won't believe it For one week, I decided to follow the guidelines to live a perfect lifestyle And in my opinion, the perfect lifestyle is different for everyone But that is, unless you are, mandatory middle school health class So I was just a little middle schooler trying to live my life But health class drilled in this image of a plate as four sections One has grains, one has protein, two have vegetables and on the side, a cup of fruit. For a healthy lifestyle, they recommend eight cups of water, so... And as I just said, middle school also taught me that water is the cure for everything. If you're sick, drink water. If you have cancer, drink water. If you're depressed, drink water. It'll solve everything. Class literally started two minutes ago. Another thing health class taught us was that you have to get at least 30 minutes of exercise every single day. And I don't know what your schools are doing, but my school literally forced us to take a video of us exercising for 30 minutes and then get a signature by our parents to confirm that we actually exercised for 30 minutes. Like, doesn't that sound satanic to you? So for this week, I decided to take all that PTSD from middle school and try to live the perfect lifestyle. Okay, and also, if you want to have a healthy lifestyle, you have to have some hobbies that aren't just watching YouTube and eating for 8 hours. So for me, that is painting. So I know it currently looks like your grades, oh, I meant trash right now, but I promise you it gets a lot better soon. Like, this is how much I got done after 2 hours. And now my journey to become the best fitness guru starts here because look, all my meals have grains, fruit, veggies, and protein. So in order to have a healthy lifestyle, you're supposed to go outside and get some vitamin D, but... Yeah, so I'll try again tomorrow. And I'm really getting middle school flashbacks right here because in middle school we had to record ourselves working out and now that is exactly what I'm doing. And to be honest, the workout that I'm doing is way harder than it was in middle school. Like I think in middle school I walked around my dining table 400 times but now I'm doing a full on hit workout. Wow, that's when you know you've grown up. On Tuesday, I decided to make an egg omelet as if omelets aren't made of eggs and i also had some vegetables and you might notice oh my god that is not following the food groups where you have to have fruits grains vegetables and protein but i've done some research and i've seen that healthy gurus out there don't even eat that for breakfast because it's just like too much Anyways, I always sit like my spine is non-existent, and I know you do too, but in order to be healthy, you have to sit straight up, because spine surgery costs the same as a car. For lunch, I made some baozi, and if you're looking for the recipe, please look for the video on my channel that says baozi recipe. Thank you very much. But anyways, you might be thinking, oh my god, Annie, how is baozi healthy? Well, the thing is, the wrapper is the grains, I mean, it's made out of flour, and then the pork and red bean filling is the protein, so I'm definitely not finding any loopholes here. Ooh, it looks good. Ooh. And then I got my vegetables and my fruits in with a side salad and some persimmon. I also got in some more of that amazing protein and vegetables with some tofu and mushroom soup. So yeah, as you can see, for me, living the perfect lifestyle doesn't mean just eating wilted salad and dry ass chicken breast, but it just means getting all the nutrients that I need. So after I drank so much water that I caused the California drought, I then had noodles for dinner. So I got in my vegetables with some raw bok choy and mushrooms, got in my grains with Looks some good. noodles, and then I got in my protein with some pork, and for my fruit, I had persimmon. And I was really skeptical of how the raw vegetables at the bottom would cook, and my dad assured me that the soup would boil them, and they didn't. So raw bok choy, mmm. So health guidelines recommend that you exercise at least 30 minutes a day, so I'm just gonna do a HIIT workout. And by the way, all the workouts will be linked in the description, so if you're a god and have the motivation to actually work out, then props to you. So healthy people recommend taking cold showers because it's apparently good for your pores. So, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. So that was fun. So on Wednesday, I had some avocado toast because it is literally the most healthy thing I can think of. And I also had some cherry tomatoes and cashews because it was looking really dull and dry, just like your conversations with your crush. 
Then for lunch, I had this beautiful nourish bowl and I got in my grains with some white rice. Gross, but I have to do it for you all. And my vegetables were eggplants, broccoli, and mushrooms. And my protein was some teriyaki chicken and my fruit was some grapes. And then I was thinking about what to have for snack, but I just wasn't feeling bananas, no apples, no cashews, no olives, but built bar that I was feeling. This time I decided to go with the flavor mint brownie and it was so good. Like every single built bar is coated with rich real chocolate and the inside is just gooey deliciousness. I also like to microwave them because it literally tastes like cake. It balloons up, the chocolate gets all melty. It's just so good. After eating it, it was so hard to believe that the whole thing was only 130 calories and it was loaded with protein and fiber. For dinner, I got in my protein with some salmon. Salmon? I think it's salmon. Then I got in my vegetables with this huge salad and then I was desperate for some grains in there because we forgot to make rice. So I literally just chucked in a piece of bread and then my fruit was apples. On this day, I also accidentally deleted all of my workout footage, but I promise you, I ran six marathons and did 4,000 one finger push ups. So I got all of my exercise in. Don't worry. I got too much to lose. But dreaming about the so on Thursday morning, I decided to make some oatmeal because if something has the name porridge, you already know it's going to be healthy. And on top, I added some mango, I think I added some chia seeds, and also coconut flakes. One thing I totally forgot to add though is sweetener of any kind. So it was super bad, gotta be honest, the first bite, but then I aggressively added honey and then it was perfect. Then I once again drank all the water in California and then for lunch, my grains was brown rice, my protein was salmon, my vegetables were bean sprouts, potatoes, and I think onions, and my fruit was pineapple. Way. I got big dreams riding with the roof off Out of LA, yeah, got Dre with me Still broke, I'm clipping out the coupons You tell me, kids, stop playing with it Can't let a man take my... Then I put on my glasses so it looked like I had an IQ of over two And I drank some more water and had some green grapes and a banana Have all this love Okay, now it is time for painting So some of you have been asking me how I paint I basically take some paint, put some water on it, and put it on the canvas yeah, so I know that was really helpful, but anyways, this is me painting for like three hours, almost finished it, but not quite. And it was my first time doing like a city landscape kind of thing. And it was pretty lit, you know, cause it's nighttime and there's a lot of lights, you know? Okay, I need to shut up, bye. All this love. For dinner, my grains were brown rice, my vegetables were peppers and eggplant, my protein was tofu, and my fruit was cherry tomatoes. And if you're saying, dude, cherry tomatoes are tomatoes, they're vegetables, not fruits. Well, I hate to break it to you, but tomatoes are fruits. But if you can't accept that fact, then I also had an apple. No money like an intern. I want to work out for 30 minutes. Definitely not in the mood. It's like 10 p.m., but... LA, I got Dre with me. And currently, I'm really loving growing Anna's workouts because all of her workouts are no repeat, which is amazing because a lot of other influencers have like some interesting moves, but then they repeat like five rounds at a time. And I die not from like fatigue, but because I'm just so bored. On Friday, I decided avocado toast and oatmeal just weren't healthy enough. I had to pull out that green smoothie with spinach and celery. Literally nothing that I could think of that was more healthy. I was really skeptical of it, but it's actually kind of good. Then for lunch, I made a huge mochi and red bean layered cake. <laughs> and then like purely for decoration, we added some dates on top. Aesthetically, not the most pleasing, but this was supposed to be my grain of my lunch because I just reasoned that it was made out of flour. 
And then my protein was two chicken legs slash wings. Mm. I'm not too sure. I don't know the terminology. And my vegetables were Chinese lettuce and my fruit was green grapes. Then for an hour that I could have been studying, I decided it was a great idea to start aggressively beating a pomegranate. Then I had a persimmon and also some red bean soup. And then I took like an hour or so to finish up my cute little painting and I added some cars and it was nice because it gave me hope that I could one day afford my own car so that I can stop crashing my parents' cars. So yeah, she's the final product and not to be vain or anything, but she looks so cute. Then for dinner, my grains were white rice, my vegetables were eggplant, cucumber, and Chinese lettuce. My protein was chicken and my fruit was green grapes and pomegranate seeds. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. So yeah, I basically ate the whole bag of the mushroom crisps and also some apple. My head's so messed up, but I can't fold no fear. Workout time. On these bands and I'm gonna use the white tears. Five years to stick into the plans I made when I was a jit. So moms, I can't go live no normal life, won't stop till I'm rich. Said, where were you when I was down bad? And the money coming to me so fast. Left the whole she a big dub, straightforward with it, I don't go back. Everybody living better, I still so on Saturday, I decided to make a yogurt bowl and I don't have that fancy Greek yogurt stuff, but I just used random yogurt that I found in my fridge. And to top it off, I had some banana, persimmon, and also some peanut butter that I wanted to drizzle, but of course I had to fail like all my future ambitions. And I also added some chia seeds for that extra health. And now I introduce you to my best friend, Miss Acne. She's my most loyal friend out there. Like she has never left my side. Okay, so I literally look like The Rock. And I'm gonna exercise in a turtleneck, so wish me luck. So I'm the only one I ever really needed. I gotta find a way out of this fucking position. I stay with a gang and don't stress by no bitches. I took all my pain and I put it in records. They turn up the speaker, I turn into riches. When I'm alone, the past come at a homie, so I feel like turning that boy into a cast. But when I'm off whiskey, I feel like myself and I'll turn that bitch so cause it really don't matter. I got my mind on my money. Paranoid, they all look at me funny. Stressed out, so my liver stay muddy. Pipe down, you won't. For lunch, my grains were brown rice again, my vegetables were eggplant, green beans, and cucumber, my protein was chicken, and my fruit was sliced apple. Then for dinner, my grains were, wow, once again, brown rice, my vegetables were cucumber, bamboo, mushroom, and avocado, and my protein was tofu, and my fruit was sliced banana. Fun fact, I found out later that all the tofu were moldy, mmm. But well, whatever, I guess it's just added vegetables. Okay, so it's finally time to work out for at least 30 minutes, and that means I can finally take this turtleneck off. Like, I don't know you guys wear turtlenecks. This thing's been choking me all day. On the final day, I decided to make some yogurt apple toast. And you might be thinking, yo, Annie, you've been having a lot of yogurt this week. I distinctly remember you being lactose intolerant. What happened to that? And the first few times that I tried it, I didn't get a stomach kick or anything. So I was like, oh my God, I am now immune to milk. Oh my God, I'm no longer lactose intolerant. But then never again. Yeah, so I may or may not have sat on the toilet for two hours and basically missed one of my classes in school. But then afterwards, I did my daily workout. For 
For lunch, my vegetables were a ton of bok choy. My grains were rice. My protein was tofu, which was actually completely homemade, like straight from the bean. And my fruit was a ton of pomegranate seeds. We don't know what life about. Another day go by, don't know. Now it is time for my favorite part of the day, eating a built bar. So this time I decided to go with this coconut flavor and it only has 130 calories and so much protein and fiber. And I was so surprised by this flavor. Like I'm normally not such a huge coconut person, but this was so good. Easily one of my top favorite flavors. It's just so gooey and it tastes just like a candy bar. And I have a link in the description if you want to check it out. Then for dinner, I promise you I got in all my food groups, but it was just too ugly so I couldn't show you. But the things that I could show you were bozu and my fruit, which was green grapes. Wait, I was literally supposed to exercise for at least 30 minutes today, but it's now like 11, so... So I hope you realize that a perfect lifestyle is different for everyone, and have a nice day. Put your head on my shoulder